on a mission with Steve Plough, Meridian Sandals officer. We've had reports that a shopkeeper in here isn't measuring accurately. Right. My job is to check the accuracy of measurements. In this van is our control room. I've got a secret camera. We are going to put our shopkeeper to the test and collect three pieces of evidence. And I have three different disguises. We're about to enter the shop. Roger. Oh, hello. He's going to have 500 grams of biscuits. Um, no, in fact, he's got a whole kilogram. I don't believe it. He should have weighed the box first. This way, you're paying for the box. Accuracy test fail number one. When we re-weigh the same one kilogram of biscuits, we've only got 900 grams. This kind of mistake can also happen in the science lab. Containers are often used to weigh. You should always weigh the container first, then take it off the total weight. Steve, can you read me? Loud and clear. In a bottle of biscuits, please. Biscuits. <laughs> in a bag. Biscuits. And that, I believe, is one kilogram. This time he's reading the scale from the side. 198. This time you've got more biscuits. Look at this. Whenever you take readings from a device with a needle, it's vital you take the reading straight on. Looking at the needle from the side can give you a higher or lower reading. It's called parallax error. Right. Third time lucky. Good luck. Hello, handsome. I have a kilogram of your biscuits, please. Biscuits? I don't believe it. Those scales are already reading 250 grams and there's nothing on them yet. One kilogram. You're going to be short of biscuits by 250 grams. You always have to reset the scale to zero before you start weighing. This is serious. It's illegal for shopkeepers to give short weight an inadequate quantity. Trading standards officers like Steve enforce the law. Trading standards. We've got evidence on three counts of inaccurate weighing. You'd better come with us. Fancy a biscuit then, Steve? 